Good afternoon, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints in Central California. I um, thought I'd come to you with my issue of the week, which happened pretty early in the week, thank goodness. Um, by the way, it's a beautiful day out here. It's about 95 degrees, but here in the shade, it feels really good. And being California, it's a dry heat. <laughs> so, yeah, yesterday we had our, our issue of the week. Um, I was just getting ready to head for work, getting my breakfast ready, and my phone rang. And it's my boss, and she doesn't normally call me. She'll text or send me an email or something. It's not normally a phone call. Um, I'm look, getting kind of dark here, so I'm going to walk over here where it's a little brighter. I'll lighten up a little bit. Um, anyway, she gives me a call, says, hey, uh, can you come in? I said, well, yeah, of course I can come in. What's going on? She says, well, um, my VPN client's dropped a bunch of times, and uh, I, I think our internet's down. So, hmm, okay. Well, I have my laptop there. I pop it out and put it on the counter, fire up my VPN software, and I connect to the, the firewall at work, no problem. Check things out, everything's up. Oh. So then I text her back and said, well, you know, it looks like everything's working to me. And uh, she says, well, c come in anyway, let's check it out. So, okay, get to go into work early, get to leave early. So anyway, I drive into work, finally get there, and everything's up, no problem. I, I check my Intermapper software, I check all the, the devices, everything's green. Ping, the, ping Google, I go out and I surf, YouTube, everything's fine. Hmm. So uh, we called the, the county who administers our internet connection and they called AT&T and AT&T just said, yes, the circuit's up. Now we know that. Was, was there any problems this morning? We had no problems reported. Okay, so AT&T was not helpful. So now it's time to start digging. So. Since I, I'm not on call, I don't check my emails at night. Um, so now I started digging through my emails and, and trying to look and, and correlate what might have happened. So yes, there was a bunch of emails of our AT&T internet going down and also our, our path out to our medical records provider went down and a few other things. And I look at all these devices, they're all in one area. So, huh, these are all in one area of our basement. So I go down there and look, and I look at each device, just physically look at it, and they're all in the same rack. You can guess what might, half ha might have happened. So anyway, I call the county back and say, hey, can you check with AT&T and ask them if, uh, can you have them check the, the uptime on their equipment? You know, ask them if there are any power outages. So about an hour later, he kind of gets back to me and says, yeah, they reported a power hit this morning at about, just before the time my boss called me. I don't remember what time it was, like 6.30 or 7. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So anyway, that was the issue of the week. We found out, uh, well, what cut, wait, I'm not done. What caused the power outage? So uh, once I found out we'd had a power event, I, I called our engineering department and said, hey, you guys have any power issues this morning? And they say, they came back and told me, Oh, yeah, we, uh, we test the generator the last week uh, of every month at 7 a.m., or 6 a.m. Uh, the last week at 6 a.m. What day is that? Well, it's whatever day we can get around to it. Um, you think you guys can coordinate that with us next time? Just let us know. That's all we need. We just need to know. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. So we'll see if they do. So it went from weird Internet problems. We didn't know why. It was up, it was down, it was up, it was down, to, yeah, engineering was, was messing around with the power. They were switching over to generator power, then back over to, to facility power, and uh, apparently they were having issues. So, uh, yeah, that's just one of, the, one of the many problems you may run into as a network administrator. Um, try to do a little logic before you do too much running around. Do a little cor correlation. Um, if you're getting reports, get all your reports together. Like me, I get emails. I get all my emails together, and I look at them, and I try to correlate the emails to each other. What, what are the similarities? What are the differences? Um, and a lot of times that can help you uh, 
figure something out before you have to do a whole lot of running around and scratching your head and banging your head on things. So anyway, um, as I said, it's a beautiful day, so I'm just going to enjoy a walk back to my office. Um, as always, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to keep these videos a little shorter because I have a tendency to ramble on and stutter for quite a long time. So I'm going to try to try to shorten these up a little bit. Um, so that's it. I'm done talking. Um, thanks so much. If you liked what you saw, you could hit the subscribe button. Wouldn't kill you. You could hit the little bell to be notified if you want to know when I'm rambling again. And uh, more importantly, God bless and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.